Well, thank you. Uh, it's been a real honor and a privilege uh, to be here for the last week to learn from the incredible innovators from the Edmund Hillary Fellowship, the, the great wisdom that New Zealand has brought to us, uh, and to really be able to talk about these ideas and the journey that's brought me here. As Chelsea mentioned, I started as a youth climate activist. Uh, and um, on, on most days, it, it looked kind of like this, uh, you know, figuring out how to finance and pay uh, for the uh, incredible asks uh, that we were making. Uh, and you know, in those days, we didn't see the innovation uh, that Tim and others kind of mentioned that was coming. And you know, on good days, you know, it looked like this. Uh, we got uh, an incredible opportunity to build incredible gatherings uh, of huge scale uh, around the world. But uh, my journey and transformation uh, you know, uh, really came about, and I stand here before you today uh, as a clean energy entrepreneur and impact investor. I am the chief impact officer and co-founder of Clean Choice Energy. Uh, we're the largest private renewable energy supplier in the United States, the leading provider of community solar, uh, and have uh, prevented the emission of uh, over four billion pounds of CO2 emissions in the last six years. We've been innovating on many of the things that Tim mentioned, the like batteries, storage, and others. But the fact is that my transformative moment actually happened uh, after Copenhagen when I served as a financial advisor to a small, scrappy group of deeply committed activists. You know, folks who uh, you know, decided that they were going to launch a campaign against the largest, most powerful financial institutions in the world and try to get them to divest from uh, as they described it, the wealthiest, most profitable industry in the history of money, the fossil fuel industry. Well, it succeeded much better than we expected. This was in 2016, when that campaign hit $5 trillion of assets under management. Today, in 2019, it's $13 trillion of assets under management that have committed to divestment and investing in sustainability solutions. Now, why did we have that success? we found because we'd made one critical error in our assumption, and that was the largest owners of capital in the world see themselves as financial stewards for the next generation. Pension funds, sovereign wealth funds, endowments, they shepherd our resources for the next generation. And when this critical risk was brought to them, the fact is that some additional gains in their fossil assets, if they came at critical losses to their real estate, insurance, agriculture, health, investments. It wasn't a gain for them. It was a critical key risk. But the problem now is there's one huge gap. This is the landscape of climate finance. You don't need to get into all the details, but the fact is that those $13 trillion in assets and growing every single day cannot invest in scale at the projects yet because they do not yet exist. We need to find a place to rewire and rebuild and innovate in models that can go around the entire world. And that's why I'm here on this stage. New Zealand has something truly unique, truly different. It's not just the political commitment to early action on sustainability. It's a consumer market open to sustainable products and innovation. It's the deep, deep cultural wisdom uh, that is bringing forth innovation and regenerative economies. And it's, the, frankly, the open market structure uh, in energy and other areas that's critical. So one of the things we need to do in our mission that we're called here to do is to build business models that aren't just for the New Zealand market. They aren't just here, but something that we can take globally, something that we can rebuild every system that we rely on, from agriculture, bioeconomy, transportation, and energy. And you know what? New Zealand can do it, but only with the global talent. And that's why EHF is so important. We need world-class investors, and there are many here. World-class entrepreneurs, and there are many here, to work together with this unique environment to pilot before, with this early commitment, to build those models that can absorb capital at the scale needed to solve these global challenges. That's what I'm here for. Uh, and that's what I want to work with you all on. I think the potential here could unfurl before us in incredible ways. And I want to talk with you, and I'll be hosting a session tomorrow at 2.30 about it. Uh, but that's our call. That's our opportunity. And I want to thank you uh, for, frankly, the privilege of being able to meet with this community and work on that together. Thank you.